Let's talk chat GBT, all right? Who uses it? Who don't? What's poppin', what's poppin', what's poppin'? The results that you're getting from ChatGPT are probably not the greatest. Actually, let's be honest, they're trash. Let's just, let's keep it a buck. Like it's okay, but it's still missing a lot. And this is exactly what happened to me when I started using ChatGPT, I, because I didn't know this one thing. And after hours on ChatGPT, I figured it out. But are you going to tell us? Like, would you, are you, you just gonna say this one thing? Like. What, what is it? I got you. Now, I don't want you to spend hours trying to figure it out. So on this video, I'm going to break down how to get the best responses from ChatGPT, especially when it comes to your brand and your content. But keeping it 100, this one thing can better your output in general, to be honest. Just tell me the one thing already. The one thing is just talking to it like a human and having the conversation. So let me show you what I mean and wait till the end because I got some extra bonuses for you. Let's talk chat GBT, all right? Who uses it? Who don't? Yeah, yeah. all right, I'm with that. Okay, let me, for the people who are mad loud and say, yeah, who uses it every single day? Who said, I tried it, the output was trash, I put it down? Woo! <laughs> Woo, I'm not, I don't wanna admit that, but whoo! Right? We have to talk to it, right? We have to treat ChatGPT like a person. It's really weird, I know. It's like, yo, how am I supposed to do that? I have 15 to 30 minute conversations with ChatGPT, okay? Me and ChatGPT are cool. Why? Because it needs to know me and what I'm thinking more than just me being, can you give me 10 content ideas about content? <laughs> and then it says, create content. I'll be like, oh, that's trash. Never mind. I don't want to do ChatGPT no more. Right? So take this screenshot real quick for me. Take a screenshot. This is at least going to give you the base of it, right? Of like, at giving it more of your information. So let's let's try it out. Let's try it out, right? Hold up. I got ChatGPT here. For those people who did not know, it could talk to you. So we're gonna talk to ChatGPT today, okay? So that's connecting. Give me a second. What's popping ChatGPT? So I am a content uh, specialist, right? But I need you to act like a content specialist as well, all right? My target audience is introverts about around like 18 to like 45 who don't necessarily like to be in front of the camera. My goal is brand awareness and my brand voice, I'm a bit New Yorkish, so I'm a little bit blunt, but I wanna love on people, so make me still sound like I have feelings. Can you list some of my audience pain points and give me about 10 content ideas for my brand? Please. Sure. Your audience probably feels uncomfortable with direct exposure, values privacy, and prefers low-key interactions. For content ideas, one, start a blog series featuring stories of introverts who've made significant impacts without the spotlight. This can reassure your audience that visibility doesn't always equate to value. Two, create a podcast with tips on thriving in social settings while honoring one's need for song. Solitude. Feature guest speakers who resonate with the introverted lifestyle. Three, develop a series of posts debunking myths about introverts with engaging visuals and lighthearted commentary to keep it relatable. Five, produce video content with minimal direct camera interaction, like voiceover tutorials or animated explainer videos. How did that sound? How many of y'all can admit that y'all outputs don't sound that good? <laughs> you know what I mean? You gotta talk to it. You gotta tell it more about you. Now, here's an added bonus. At the end of it, say, hey, ask me any questions that you need to give, to better my output, right? Because we don't know what we don't know. We don't know exactly how to talk to AI. I don't know what it really needs. So what's crazy about that is going to give me a whole bunch of questions. Okay, how long has your brand been? Uh, do you like doing video or audio? It's gonna ask you all these questions that you had no clue because you weren't going to say or you don't necessarily have the time. I'm not gonna type all that out. You saw I could use the voice feature because I don't like typing. 
okay? I really, who doesn't like typing? Use the voice feature, okay? Use the voice feature and it talks back to you. I could literally just put that away, talk to it, put it, keep doing what I do and just listen to it like a podcast, right? I have my own personal coach, not, shout out to those people who do coaching. I should pay for you, but I pay for ChatGPT right now. I'm just gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna be honest for you. 20, 20 a month sounds pretty cool, right? Sounds pretty cool. So, raise your hand if you're gonna do this a little bit better. Raise your hand if you're gonna do this a little bit. That's, not, that's all I want. I just want y'all. I'm telling you, I'm talking to y'all today, okay? So, we're gonna talk to ChatGPT. All right, let's take it a little bit further and go with three extra steps. Step one, now that we have our content idea, let's turn that into a tweet. I'm gonna have the conversation with ChatGPT of what more information they would need to turn this content idea into a tweet based off my brand. So not just saying, hey, turn this content idea into a tweet because we already know the responses are going to be bad. So something I would do is say, okay, we got this content idea. Now, how do I turn it into a tweet? What is the more information that you're going to need from me to better this output and have at least one or two tweets from this content idea? Here's the second one. Now with this content idea, I'm gonna need some images, right? Whether I wanna put these images in Canva or whether I just wanna put it up just on Instagram, YouTube, community tab, Facebook, whatever I want to do. So what I would ask is say, hey, now that we have this content idea, give me the best description to turn it into an image that I can give to an art generator like Dolly3 and Midjourney. And of course, asking it what other further information it may need from me. And then it's going to give you a whole description that you can put into any art generator. Now with this description, I'm gonna to need to put it into an art generator. Now ChatGPT does have Dolly 3, but that is for the paid version. So if you don't have the paid version, I got you. You can use Copilot, you can use Leonardo AI, you can use actually bing.com slash create will allow you to use Dolly 3 for free. So get as descriptive as you can with the images and put it in one of those art generators. Real quick, I know we're talking about ChatGPT and written content, but I gotta talk to you about video content as well with our sponsor, Opus Clip. Now, Opus Clip will take your long form videos, take one video and turn it into 15 to 20 different clips for your vertical videos, square videos. It could also turn into horizontal if you wanna clip it up for YouTube. It adds captions, it adds AI B-roll. It does amazing things. And I got the link in the description because I want you to try it for free on me, right? And so let me just get back to the video. I just wanted to let you know about the sponsor. Now let's go to the third step. You can't get a content idea and not turn it into a video script, especially with how video is ruling everything on social media, even on you, we on YouTube, you watching the video right now. So I would ask ChatGPT to take that content idea and find the best content framework to produce a video script. Now remember, all video scripts aren't treated equal. You need to know the platform that you're creating for and the time frame. So you may be creating for a five minute YouTube video or you may be creating for a 30 second TikTok. So you wanna be specific with what platform are you using it for as well as how long you're using it for so it could get specific with exactly what you need. So have the conversation, talk to it. Have it ask you questions so it could get further information from you to better the output. So which one are you gonna try? Put it in the comments, let me know. And then of course, subscribe while you're doing that. Wait, don't go nowhere. I got another video for you, okay? So go watch that.